Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show how to create a curve in Grasshopper by using interpolate curve and the NURB curve, NURBS curve component. In order to do that, let's double click on the Grasshopper canvas and type interpolate curve. And mm, second one is double click and type NURBS curve. Here we go. And delete the previous one. Okay. First, I'm going to show the interpolate curve. So let's bring it over here. Now, here, in order to create an interpolated curve, we have to provide a list of points over here and couple of values for the degree, periodic, and not style. And we will see what this individual names or the input value does. So in order to create a list of points, I'm going to generate some points manually. So let's just create some point over here. There we go. And now we have a couple of uh, points in the Rhino canvas and now we need to contain all these points in a point component so let's just do it um, there's a couple of ways to do it I mean in terms of keeping the order I mean the point order is really does matter I mean if you select this one first and this one second and that's gonna come uh, the third the curve will follow this direction but if you select this one first and that one the second and this one the third the curve will follow this way so it's it's your choice like how do you want to organize this point or sort this point so i'm gonna do this one uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and press enter so now we have a list of points over here now plug this um, point component with the vertices and now automatically in like pretty much without putting any effort it's creating this interpolated curve and like I said like the order does matter and now let's say for the degree by default the degree is 3 uh, but we can change it we can go um, for let's say um, let's start with 3 so we can go this way and that way so if it is a zero degree curve it's 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 um, not an interpolated curve it's just a, um, a polyline it's not a curve and now it's it's working but the degree is one which is which means like it doesn't have any type of curvature um, but the component is working it's not orange anymore now if you go here and select put it to again nothing is happening um, uh, even degrees it doesn't take the interpolated curve let's say it doesn't take any even degrees so which means like maybe it's not gonna take any two four six and eight um, but if you put three there you go you have a decent curve over here and if we try to increase it see it's it's four and it's not taking anything like it's working but the component is broken kind of um, five and so you can see that the behavior of the curve is slightly changing every time you change the number so um, it's a t three degree curve we say it a uh, three degree curve a two degree curve or um, a one degree curve which is a polyline and now for periodic um, uh, you need to provide a boolean value a boolean value is basically a true or false and this periodic um, input is saying that it's going to determine that this curve is it going to be a closed curve or is it going to be an um, is it going to be an open curve like this one so um, let's bring a boolean toggle so if we want to see that what it's doing is basically it's like a switch like um, it's it, it's like a light switch 
like if it is false it's going to say it's false if you double click on it and it's going to say it's true or you can say type true or you can type false oh. okay so let's try all of these so the um, the periodic is if as this is true it's saying like hey this is a closed curve no matter what I do it's gonna remain a closed curve it's always gonna meet the end um, again if you type in again the false one um, it's pretty simple right and the not style um, the not style is basically going to show like how this curve um, the, the the distribution the curve the curvature is going to be distributed like basically uniform spacing is this one um, chord spacing and um, the square root chord spacing so um, usually I most of the cases use the chord spacing because it's kind of uh, it looks more um, decent and follows the curvature properly um, and now uh, let's move on to the nerve curves uh, so the nerve curves again it requires a vertices a degrees and a periodic same thing so as we have um, already these numbers I'm just gonna plug these numbers with this one and gonna see what are the difference between these nerve curves and interpolate curve so the vertices is this one already it's showing that it's uh, it's kind of different but which one is what um, so I'm gonna change I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off so you can see that um, this is interesting because um, the the interpolate curve is actually traveling through the points right it's touching every every single point but the nerve curves is not see so it's it's more like a loose like curve and a more more loose uh, not not very tight or restrictive that's that's how I'm gonna interpret it interpret it uh, again it, it follows the same thing but it takes even number degree uh, I'm gonna keep it three and again copy and if it is true then it's a closed curve if it is false it's an open curve so now let's turn back on there you go now the green one is the nerve curves the red one is the interpolate curves so that's it um, I hope you guys like this short tutorial and see you in the next one thank you